a student by profession. Can a Muslim man pray his Fard Salah at home without any certain reason regularly? A similar question is posed. Assalamu alaikum, Zakir uncle. I am Sahil from Kashmir, India. Is it compulsory to pray Fard Salah in the masjid or it is highly recommended? I am confused because I heard you say earlier that it is highly recommended. Now you are saying it is compulsory. What is the correct opinion? Jazakallah khairan. Abu Lawit Prophet Muhammad said, it's mentioned in Sahih Muslim, volume number one, hadith number 246. The difference between a man and shirk and kufr is the giving up of salah, is the abandonment of salah. That means to differentiate a moment from a kafir is the offering of salah. Salah is the most important deed that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask first on the day of resurrection. It's very important. And not praying salah is the fourth major sin in Islam. Now regarding the question, is praying salah in the mosque in congregation, the five time for salah, is it compulsory or is it mustab? Is it highly recommended? Regarding the answer to this question, there are two different opinions, two different fatwas by two sets of scholars. One group of scholars, they say that praying salah in congregation in the mosque is fard kefaya And if some people fulfill this obligation to the rest, it is highly recommended. It is mustab, but not a fard. Whereas the second group of scholars says, it is fard ain it is compulsory for every individual Muslim that he should offer Salah if he is a man in the mosque in congregation. And according to me, the opinion of the second group of scholars is more correct. Let us see the argument of both these group of scholars. Quran says in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 102, that O Prophet, talking about in the battlefield, O Prophet, in the battle, let one group of the people pray along with you, with their arms, and let the second group be at guard. After the first group finishes, let the second group pray in congregation, and let the first group be at guard. If praying Salah was only for the kifaya in congregation, then why did Allah say, that the second group should also pray in a congregation. Based on this verse of the Quran, it is clear that praying in congregation is an individual fard. It's fard ayn on every individual Muslim man. Further, it's mentioned in the Quran, in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 43, that establish salah, pay your zakat, and bow down with those who bow down. Allah repeats the message in Surah Al Imran. Chapter number 3, verse number 43. Ya Maryam Munuk, Ya Maryam Mu, Ya Maryam Mumlukliti, Varkai Marakin. O Mary, worship thy love, worship thy loud, devotedly, and bow down, and pray, and, and prostrate, and bow down with those who bow down. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Al Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 43. Ya Maryam Mumu, Ya Maryam Nukluti, Varkai Marakai. O Mary, worship thy loud devout, worship thy Lord devotedly, and prostrate thyself, and bow down with those who bow down. Here again, it speaks about praying in Jamaat. So that's the reason the second group of scholars they say that praying in Jamaat is for the end is compulsory for every individual Muslim. Furthermore, there are several evidence from the Sahih Hadith which proves that praying in Jamaat is fard for every Muslim man. Our beloved Prophet said, 
it is mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number three, hadith number two four two zero, where the Prophet said that I was thinking of telling someone to give the akama for the compulsory congregation of salah so that I can go from behind and burn the houses of those men who are in the house and did not come for the compulsory congregation salah to the mosque. Here the first group of scholars they say that this compulsory congregation salah is referring to Juma Salah. It's not referring to the five time Salah. Even if you agree with the argument that it's referring to Juma Salah, since the Salah is not mentioned, there are several other hadith which make it evident that it is required for all the five times compulsory Salah. If you read the hadith of Sahih, Buk uh, of Sahih Bukhari, volume number one, hadith number 647, the beloved Prophet Muhammad said that if for the hypocrites, for them the most difficult or the most hardest of the Salah is the Salah of Fajr and Isha. And if they would have known the reward for this Salah, they would have come to the mosque crawling on their knees and elbows. <coughs> then the Prophet continues that I had planned, I had intended, I wanted the Muazzin to proclaim the Kama and wanted to ask someone to lead the Salah so that I could go to the houses of those men who are in the house and have not come to the mosque for the congregation Salah and would take fire and burn the houses. Here the Prophet is very clear, he is talking about the Fajr Salah and the Isha Salah. So, and this hadith is also repeated in Sahih Muslim. Volume number two, hadith number 1482, a similar words. That means it is a hadith of muttafiq alaik. That means it is present in Bukhari as well as Muslim. It is the highest category of hadith. And here the Prophet is talking about the Fajr Salah and the Isha Salah. He felt like burning the homes of those men who did not come to the mosque for the congregation Salah of Fajr and Isha. Imagine. So based on this, it is very clear cut that the view of the second group of scholars who say it is for the Ain, it is compulsory for every Muslim adult to pray his five times for the Salah in congregation in the mosque. Further there is a hadith in Abu Dawud, volume number one, hadith number 552, where Abdullah Ibn Umm Maktoum, Abdullah Ibn Umm Maktoum, he approaches the Prophet, may Allah be pleased with him, he approaches the Prophet, may peace be upon him, and says that since I am blind, I require a guide and I find it difficult to reach the mosque. So the Prophet asks him that, do you hear the Azan? He says, yes. So he says, answer the Azan. Go and pray in the mosque. Imagine for a blind person who finds it difficult, who requires a guide, and the guide is not there many a time, and he finds it difficult to go to the mosque. The Prophet does not relieve him. And he says that if you can hear the Adhan, you have to answer the Adhan. That's the reason the correct opinion is that it is compulsory for every adult male that he should pray, he should offer five times for the Salah in the congregation, in the mosque, unless he has a valid excuse, he has a valid reason. For example, if he's sick or if he's traveling, it's difficult to go to the mosque, then it's accepted. Or if the mosque is very far away and it's difficult for him to pray five times, there are certain excuses. But even in this case, 
it's preferably prayed in the mosque. But if he's sick, he's surely excused. For a person who's sick, the Prophet said, even if you pray at home, he will get the sawab as though what he does in the regular time, he prays his five times salah in the mosque. And according to Sheikh Muhammad Ibn Salih uh, he says that there are various reasons. Every step you take, you get sawab. When you go to the mosque, you get sawab. You do wudu in the house before going to the mosque, then you get sawab. And there are various reasons. And he says that the 27 times sawab which is mentioned in Bukhari, for getting the sawab for a congregation, refers to the sawab in the mosque in congregation that to the first congregation if you miss the first congregation and you pray in the mosque in the second congregation it is better than praying at home but you don't get the same sawab if you are supposed to pray on time in the first congregation then you get the full sawab and the maximum sawab if you miss for any reason and if the reason is valid like you're sick it's accepted but if it's any other reason and you miss the first Jama and you pray in the second Jama, you don't get the same sawab. Otherwise, people would come anytime in the one or two hours that you're permitted to pray and keep on praying in Jama. No, you have to pray on time in the first Jama. <coughs> so, according to one group of scholars, it is for the kefaya, it is mustahab, highly recommended to pray in Jama, the five times compulsory salah. But according to the second group of scholars, which the opinion is more correct, it is more authentic based on Quran and Sunnah, that it is first for every adult Muslim male to pray five times Salah in congregation in the mosque. And if you read the book of Imam Ad-Dhabi, the Kabair, he lists 70 major sins. And in his book, he mentions on list number 65, the 65th major sin as not praying in congregation, an adult male not praying the five times for salah in congregation in a mosque. That means if you don't pray your five times for the salah in congregation in a mosque, according to Imam Dhabi, it is not only a sin, it is a major sin. So there are some scholars who say, not praying compulsory fard salah in congregation mosque is a major sin and Imam Adhabi may Allah uh, have mercy on him he's a great scholar and according to him it's a major sin that's the reason I agree with the second group of scholars I agree with Imam Adhabi that every adult Muslim man should see to it that he prays in congregation in the mosque on time See to it that he reaches the mosque before the Akama starts so that he gets the complete sawa and gets the maximum sawa. Hope that answers the question.